What's up, everybody? I'm George Medina, and this is Marvelous Statues, the show where we get to unbox and review some of the coolest statues and collectibles known to man. And on today's show, this is an actually a very special episode for us, as this is our one-year anniversary to the day. On March 11th, last year, we started it out with a review of the XM Studios' Batman. And for this particular episode, I wanted it to be extra special in that I want to review the first custom piece that I ever saw in my life, something that I wanted to get like right away. So in this review, we are going to take a look at the RCB Marvel vs. Capcom Wolverine. So stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. As I stated earlier, this is our one year anniversary. Uh, we will have a special one year anniversary show coming real soon, but I'm waiting for my brother to get back and we're going to do it together. So definitely look forward to that. Uh, but today, uh, I was just looking through my YouTube videos, checking everything, and then I noticed that it was the one year anniversary. So I was like, man, we got to do a review. So I took and been putting this one off for a, quite a bit of time. Uh, so kind of happy to actually have a little bit of time to take a look at him. Uh, this is the RCB Wolverine, the Marvel vs. Capcom. It was sculpted by Eric Sosa. So uh, he's a, an awesome artist, one of my favorite sculptors. Uh, if you don't know who Eric Sosa is, he has a company, Prototype Studios. You may be more familiar with that. Uh, he focuses mostly on Street Fighter and uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom series. Um, does a lot of Wolverines. Uh, he also has some sculpts for Kotobukiya. Uh, so he's very talented. He's been in the industry forever. Uh, I think they built the industry around him. <laughs> so I'm very really happy to have this in my collection. It, it's, a, it's a badass piece. So RCB actually had two versions of this statue. There was a yellow and blue version, which is more of the um, traditional X-Men 90s style, like what you'd see from uh, Jim Lee. And then they had the player two option, which is the brown and orange suit uh, that we uh, that was like Wolverine's original uh, costume. Now I played Marvel vs. Capcom and X Men vs. Street Fighter and a multitude of different uh, video games that had Wolverine in it. Uh, this is a very Capcom styled uh, look for him. Uh, it has longer ears and a more exaggerated claws than the uh, normal comic book version uh, for Wolverine. I also think that in the video game. It was actually just a reskin that they had for the player too. I didn't. I don't think that they actually uh, removed the shoulder pads, uh, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played the game. Uh, I, I owned both of them, uh, but I ultimately felt that the brown and yellow orange suit is a much better look for him than than the uh, yellow and blue was. So that's why I have this one now. So uh, let's get into this. We're going to start off with checking out the box art. I did the unboxing for the yellow and blue. I didn't do an unboxing video for this one because it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so here's the art box. Um, it's a basic uh, normal box, something that I would expect to get from like say a sideshow. So you know you have a really nice uh, art to the outside of the box, uh, something that we don't normally get from custom pieces. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, the Wolverine has more of the design of what you would expect to see from the Marvel vs. Capcom video game. So it has that kind of styling for his look here. Uh, the yellow version of this box has the lettering in yellow. And this one has brown because he's a brown suit. So then you have the RCB uh, logo down at the bottom. There is a quote here on the side for Wolverine. Um, I, I looked it up. I, I really don't know where the quote came from. Um, nor do I understand really what it says. So I don't know much about that one. The, this particular art here, I've seen this before. That's also real cool. And then you have this other uh, art on the back here uh, for Wolverine as well. Uh, something that I've seen before too. I think that's a Jim Lee style. Uh, so I think that's kind of neat. And uh, then finally you have the same quote here on the side with a, a reoccurring image from the opposite side. Uh, all in all, I think that it was done uh, very nicely uh, inside is your uh, regular white styrofoam uh, wrapped in uh, tape. It was sealed very well and it was shipped very well. So uh, no complaints there. So that's the art box. All right, so let's get into the statue. So uh, the statue actually comes with just one optional head. Uh, you have the unmasked portrait of Wolverine right here, uh, sculpted by Eric Sosa. 
Uh, that's basically all that you get with the statue uh, beyond the statue itself. The yellow suit also comes with an unmasked portrait. It has his mouth open. I believe, in my opinion, uh, that the brown suit one is a much better look for it. Uh, so definitely the way to go, in my opinion. I, I like this portrait much better than the other one. Uh, I actually even display it with the unmasked portrait more often than I do the mask. So that's what the statue comes with. Now, as far as the base goes, uh, the yellow and the blue version have very similar bases. Uh, the yellow version has more of a gray uh, flooring. This one has a brown flooring. Uh, it's done very nicely. Lots of tech, excuse me, lots of texture work. Uh, in the base, which I think looks really nice. Um, they did, you know, really nice paint job on the coloring and it has a, an elegant, simple look to it. So I like that as well. It fits inside of the Bestas really easily. Uh, you can actually even fit two of them side by side if you had both. Um, and it, it's nice. feels very solid. Uh, this one is number 23, I believe, in the run. I think there was only like 65 of them or something like that. Something of a low number like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool as well. Uh, so the base is done really nicely. Uh, as far as the sculpt goes, I think it's outstanding. Looks just like the Wolverine from Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, so I dig that. There are a lot of questions about this statue in the, the regard to if it's leaning or not. I got that a lot when I first picked up the statue. Uh, he does lean, you know, and he's leaning because he's walking. So I think that's by design and it looks, it looks good in my opinion. Uh, he's kind of hunched over. looks like he's on the prowl. So I think that's the reason why it went that way. Um, so it, to me, it's normal. Although I've, I have seen a lot of gripe around that the leaning issue. In my opinion, it's a non-issue. I think it looks perfect to me. So, you know, this, the boots look really cool. Uh, look very much like what they did in the video game. The muscles are exaggerated just like in the video game. And, and Eric Sosa did a great job of making them look engorged, uh, which is really cool. Uh, the claws are exaggerated. These are metal, which is really nice. Um, so, you know, they, they hold up real good. There's a strong magnet that holds them on. So you can take and put them in place. You don't have to worry about them falling off. Um, I did have on mine where one of the claws was loose when I got it in the packaging, uh, but it was a simple fix. A little bit of glue and back on and everything was fine. It hasn't, it hasn't come off loose again. So I think that just was an issue with the packaging maybe. Um, he has sculpted hair on the arms, which I think is done very nicely, uh, looks uh, realistic and adds some nice depth to the to the arms. So I think that's really cool. And then, you know, the muscles, like I said, are, are completely engorged. He looks he looks like he's a beast in this one. Really awesome. It was one of the things I like better about the brown suit versus the yellow one. Um, the shoulder pads on the blue one, they kind of uh, lose the shoulders. So you don't get to see all of those muscles right there, which make them look even more beastly, uh, which I think is really cool. The portrait, like I said earlier, is based on the Marvel vs. Capcom look, so you have the much more exaggerated uh, ears on the mask, uh, which I dig, I like that look. Uh, and then he looks angry, like he's getting ready to fight, so I think that's done pretty well. They even put a little bit of stubble on the chin, uh, which is pretty nice. And you know, I, I like this portrait, it looks pretty cool. So they did a good job with that. And you can swap out the portrait for the unmasked one, which looks like that. And I think that looks uh, pretty good as well. So I do feel that, you know, he has more of a um, contemplating uh, stern look here. I would have preferred a little bit more of a grit, you know, kind of like this. But I think that looks nice regardless. So, you know, it's really nice, nice touch that they have this option for the, for the unmasked portrait. So real nice there. All right, as far as the paint goes, I think they did a fantastic job all the way around. Uh, there's no areas that I've seen where the paint has oversprayed onto anything else. There's no chips in the paint. Uh, it's very rich, a very vibrant tone to it. Uh, both the yellow and blue and this one both look excellent. I didn't see any issues with either one of them. Uh, I particularly like the way that the unmasked portrait was painted. You have a lot more stubble here on the chin, uh, which is done uh, very well. Uh, and then you have um, different tones in the hair, so it gives him like you can see the strands a little better there's a little bit more of a depth in the in the hair so i think that's really cool all the muscles in the orange areas have this nice vibrant shading going on there so yeah i think they did a great job even in the hair they, they took and painted 
you know, it has a nice uh, appearance to it. It doesn't look uh, over-exaggerated in any kind of way. Uh, it looks realistic. So I, I think they did a nice job. Don't see anything wrong with the paint. Great work. All right, and then lastly, something that I want to do on this particular review that I, because I didn't do it in the unboxing, and I want to give you guys a dimension to them uh, and let you guys know what the, what the height is on this guy. So Wolverine is standing roughly about 18 inches, just a little over 18 inches uh, with the ears, with, uh, with the mask, I mean. Uh, if you have the, the unmasked portrait on, it probably just reduces it by a little under an inch. Yeah, it brings it under 18 inches, like 17 and a half if you have the unmasked. The uh, base, Wolverine is actually uh, width-wise uh, from arm to arm. is a little bit wider than the base itself. So you're looking at about, about 13 inches if you go from this edge of the claw over to the other edge of the claw. Uh, the base itself is, is about 13 inches round. So at the, it has a wider point at the ends of the of the base. So I think um, that's pretty well done. Like I said, it, it's a very easy statue to display. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's also get you a weight. So I'm gonna go get the scale and I'll let you guys know how much this thing weighs. All right, got the scale. Let's see how much this guy weighs. Okay, so Wolverine's weighing roughly about 12.4 pounds. It's not too bad. Um, he's definitely got a solid feel to him. Uh, definitely doesn't feel cheap, so he did a good job with that. So that's how much he weighs. So as far as a rating system, because I want to do that now, uh, we're going to do uh, a rating uh, scaling from 0 to 10, 10 being a marvelous statue and 0 being something that I'm going to throw in the garbage. Uh, so let's give it a rating. Uh, as far as the box art goes, I think they did a great job with the boxing, something very similar to what I expect to get from Sideshow. Uh, nothing too elaborate like XM Studios uh, does. It, it was very light, so uh, shipping was uh, not too bad for, these, for this particular statue. Uh, I would give it roughly about a 9 out of 10, um, you know, because they didn't have all of the security that you would expect to get from XM Studios or, or what I've seen now from HMO. Uh, but, you know, it still was very secure. So 9 out of 10, I think, is pretty fair for that. In terms of the sculpt, you know, I give it a 10 out of 10. I think Eric Sosa did a fantastic job of making this look just like the guy from the video game. You know, so there's no fault, in my opinion, uh, to the sculpt. So definitely, I would say a 10 out of 10 for the sculpt. In terms of paint, also, I think a 10 out of 10. Uh, very vibrant colors, uh, no mess-ups in the line work there. Beautiful uh, paint job, I think. So 10 out of 10. Uh, and then as far as the value goes... I would give it roughly about a 9 out of 10. And only reasoning is is because, in, you know, in terms of cost and what you get with the statue, uh, it's it's fairly simple. There's not a whole lot that you get with this piece. Uh, so, you know, not too bad. It does have a very low run, which I think that boosts it up a little bit more. So 9 out of 10, I think, is pretty fair. Uh, so that roughly gives him about, I think, a 9 or a 9.5. So that puts it in the excellent statue kind of range. Uh, I think it's something that if you own in person, people who do own it would agree with me that it's a pretty badass looking piece. And it's definitely one that's going to stay in my collection for a very long time. All right, guys. So that concludes a review of the RCB Marvel vs. Capcom Brown Suit Wolverine sculpted by Eric Sosa. I really appreciate you guys for joining us on the anniversary day of Marvelous Statues. And thank you for all of your support over this past year. I hope to keep on doing this and we keep bringing you more shows just like this for years to come. So if you ever feel like watching any of our old reviews or old unboxings, you can catch all of that at mcecentral.com. We have a wealth of videos on there. You can catch Statue Fanatic, Gem Mint, Carlito Super Lobo, Cask, What's Poppin'. There's a whole bunch of stuff on MCE Central. Definitely go to that website and check that out. If you ever feel like chatting with us, you can catch us on any of our social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. You know, you can catch us there. So we're going to be coming back at you with more unboxing videos and more reviews just like this one. So stay tuned for all of that. And until then, keep it marvelous.